Welcome back. Okay, it is another Thursday, which means it's another check-in day, which means it's another update day for you guys. So check-ins this week were good. Uh, my weight, I'm not super happy about. It is the same as it was last week, but all things considering, since we did go through Thanksgiving and I ate stuff that I don't normally eat, I drank stuff I don't normally drink, that kind of thing, coming out even is okay, right? So um, after checking in today, you know, I have, I always have this fight in my head because, you know, I know that in order to gain muscle, I need to gain weight. I get that. I understand that, right? So, um, but at the same time, I don't want to get so far up on the scale that it's going to take me that much more work to get back down, right? Um, but I also understand at the same time, I have to be a lot more thicker muscle wise in order to be competitive on stage. So, you know, in my head, I'm always like, oh, I need to stay, I need to stay conditioned. And then, uh, but I also need to gain size. So I'm always battling back and forth. And I'm sure that you guys probably deal with that kind of thing too. You know, I have super long legs. I'm five foot nine. My legs make up 62% of my body. So uh, I have to fill out my glutes a lot in order to get them to be able to be competitive against the best glutes in the world, right? Um, you know, the way that your, your body structure is put together also determines how you look. So, you know, I have really high insertions when it comes to my hamstrings and things like that. So again, I have to have big round bubbly glutes in order for them to be what you look at versus my legs because my legs are so long. Um, a good example is uh, Victoria that's at uh, the new girl that's um, out of Czech, Re is it out of Czech Republic? The, the one that just won like three pro, pro cards, pro, pro cards, pro shows. She just won a pro card in, um, in August and then she won three shows. I'll put her picture up here so you can see who I'm talking about. Um, she's another one that has super long legs, but you can notice by looking at her photos how thick she is muscle-wise on her lower half of her body. And she still needs more glutes in order to be competitive against the girls, I think, at the Olympia. So I'm in the same boat as far as my body structure is concerned. Uh, so I have to be really um, aware of that, and I need to make sure that the next time that I get on stage, I have enough muscle in the gluteal area to, you know, stand up next to everybody else. So, um, you know, it's 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 a hard it's a hard mental battle, and I'm sure a lot of you ladies deal with this in your own uh, journeys as well, probably on different um, pathways. You know, maybe not the long legs thing that I have to deal with, um, but go ahead and comment if there's anything in particular that you uh, struggle with on a daily basis when you're going through this journey because I know it is for me a, a big a big struggle. I really like the way I look when I'm thicker. I like the way I look when I'm in my off season. And then when I start to diet, I hate seeing it all go away. So, you know, again, there's that struggle. Like I, you know, I take pictures and videos all the time and I really like the way I look when I'm curvier and fuller and rounder. Um, and I'm starting to see my muscle density really get uh, get better too. That's the other thing too. I'm not looking quite as soft and thin as before. I'm looking thicker, uh, which is good. Those are all things that I want. Those are all things that I want to see happen. So, you know, it's the struggle of trying to stay closer towards my stage shape, but also getting into a better stage shape, if that makes sense. So, with that, you know, I talked to Jamie a little bit about that today, and what we're going to do is just kind of keep my macros and stuff steady this week and see how my body responds with a full week with no holidays and things like that. I'm home, I'm not traveling, anything like that. So we'll see what I look like next week and then make some adjustments if we need to, or if my body catches up um, from not being on holiday anymore, then then we're good and we're going to keep going forward. Um and I also kind of talked to her a little bit about what show plans for this coming season. You know, initially we thought about getting on stage earlier in the year, and now I don't want to do that. <laughs> for the reasons that I just mentioned, um, I am seeing growth happen. I'm seeing things move in the right direction. I'm seeing my, you know, my density increase and things like that. And if I were to start cutting right now, all of that would start to go away. <laughs> So it's like, why, why put myself through this all again, just to come out with the same result, right? So, um, I am now looking at probably end of summer, 
uh, summer, end of summer, fall area to actually compete again because I want to give my body time for this muscle to stick. Um, I'm not going to do this the same way that I did it last year where I'm just going to pick a show and I'm, I'm balls to the wall for that show no matter what. That's not what we're doing this year. Um, this year I'm going based on my body and my look uh, and I'm going to stick to that. So I mentioned that to Jamie today and I said, listen, this is, you know, I, I don't want to go through all of this again just to come out looking the same. And uh, she agreed completely with what I said. So, um, you know, we'll adjust, we'll adjust as we go along. But I, I feel really good about that decision. I didn't, I didn't want to push it too far, too hard, too fast. I want to go into a prep where I can kind of ease in and go nice and slow so I can retain the muscle that I've built, right? That's another part of it too. And I preach this thing all the time. So I need to practice what I preach, right? I want to make sure that when I get on stage next time, it is a different result. And in order for me to have a different result, I have to do things differently. So I'm actually really happy, really, really happy that um, we made that decision today or had that discussion today, that kind of thing. And I will see her in person. I will see Jamie in person at the Olympia. So that'll be good. I'll be able to check in with her in person because I haven't seen her since August in person. So, you know, that's one of the pluses about being in the industry is that I do get to see my coach quite a bit, but the last few months we haven't been at the same shows. So, um, you know, there, there's a time frame where I would see her like every single week, but I haven't seen her since August now. So I'm really looking forward to being able to see her in person and figure out uh, her thoughts when she sees me like that. Um, with that, this weekend we have Masters Nationals and we do have a few ladies competing at Masters Nationals. So what I will do um, as we add on to this vlog is I'll add on some of the stuff that happens with them. Maybe we'll get some pro cards this weekend. Cross your fingers. We do have um, a few girls that could very well turn pro this weekend. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. There is a free live stream. So um, I'm really happy about all that too. So I'll be able to see it. Normally I'm, at nas uh, normally I'm at nationals, but I didn't go this year because we've got the Olympia coming up and then Christmas and then New Year's and then cutie scarf on the stage. So I had to, something had to give. <laughs> so nationals is what gave this time um, so that I can stay home and get some work done. Um, oh, also I wanted to mention um, I am back in cool toning. Uh, this is something I've been working with cool contours for almost three years now. And I started out with cool sculpting and that was before I decided to come back to stage. That was before I started to decided to come back and actually prep again and build muscle again. So then when I decided that I wanted to come back and compete again, I started using their cool toning, which is a procedure that helps with strengthening your muscle. So it's like a workout. Um, it activates your muscle fibers and it helps to create the density that I'm always talking about that I need. So it helps to create muscle density. So I'm going back and seeing them twice a week. So what I do is I go and I do the cool toning. It's a 30 minute procedure and I'm going to run some video here so you can see it. And once I finish with that, I go directly to the gym and it really helps me to get in deeper with my glutes, activate my glutes and for me, helps me create a better result. Cool toning on its own isn't really going to do a whole lot. It's just like anything else. If you buy a gym membership, but don't actually go to the gym and work out, like it's not going to do anything for you, right? So this little activation here, if you don't go train with it or don't use it, it's not going to do a whole lot for you in our uh, space. One of the things that it can help with is like if you have an injury or something like that, people do use it on muscles that they're not able to train. So like, you know, if you have like a quad injury or something and you're not actually able to go train that muscle, you can use cool toning to help strengthen that muscle when you're unable to train it. Um, things like that. So uh, it, it gets a misnomer a little bit because it's about strength. It's about creating strength in your muscle, which is muscle building, right? So that's what this procedure is. So I do it twice a week. Um, Typically, it's about a six-week period that we do it, but we are going to extend it this time um, and see how it works, I think, for an extra three weeks. So we're going to see how it works um, extending it a few more weeks and see if it's a little bit better. Uh, I do, again, I do find that it really helps me to activate my glutes better when I go train. And it does get in deep into the muscle fibers and everything as well. So um, some of you guys may use the newbie, things like that, in the gym uh, while you're training. This is 
kind of the same concept, not exactly, but it's kind of the same concept where it just activates those muscle fibers a little bit deeper and a little bit more intense. So I have found over the last couple of years of doing this, that it's really been helping me target and activate my glutes. Uh, another aspect is that I do have an issue with activating my right glute versus my left because of some impingements from posing. If you're one of my clients, I talk about this with all the time. This is why I want you posing on both sides. So I have some impingements from posing on my right side all the time. And cool toning has really helped me create that mind muscle connection a whole lot better on my right side, 100%. So um, all of those things mixed in the pot lead to better results. So that's what we're doing now too. Um, so when we come back on the next portion of this vlog, you're gonna see some of the uh, footage from nationals and maybe, maybe we'll get some pro cards. Maybe, let's see. Beautiful physique here with 285, Brandy Lewis Reed, who is uh, one of Sean Hunter Lewis from Victor Cuties, is one of her clients. I have 285 down as one of my picks. Me Thank too. you. Number 286, Elaine Martin. Okay, they 252. We're now going into first call out for bikini class B, and this is where I kind of had a little yep. bit of a heart 282, attack. 282, 284. Brandy yep. was in first call out, but as you'll see, she was the last one headed, so I was 292. dying. 292. 293. What was the last one? 295? 285. 293, 295. So I got one, two, three, four. I got all of them, right? Good. All right. So I got one. Good for you. Thank you. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, except right. for one, Jordan, two ninety-one. I got seven right. I had two eighty-five and two eighty-six. Unfortunately, we're not. And then I did not pick Jordan. I pick Jordan. No offense, Jordan. We did. You were not picked. You are holding your own up there right now. Two eighty-five and two ninety-one switch. Yeah. And here you see Brandy getting moved into the center. And that's where she's going to stay. So just keep watching through this, this first call out. A, I said it for the last class. Yeah, it's a huge call out. And also, too, a, one impressive yep, call right out. There. Yep. I said it for the last class, Skyler, and I'll say it again. Like, it You're just good. gets better and better. Okay, ladies, let's do 180. Face that back wall. forward so we can see your numbers thank you yep, and that's what happens when you don't put your number in visible sight of the judges they tell you to turn they're not going to judge you when they tell you to turn straight forward they just really need to see your number Okay, ladies, thank you very much. You step off. Oh, there you go. So no movement after that one. Now we So at this point, we pretty much knew she was going to be taking home a pro card because top two take pro cards home. We just didn't know which way it was going to fall. 
condition with coding in at this time. And a new IFBB Pro. And, I mean, what is the biggest class that we Taylor. see it in all the time with guns? And so, your E class champion, a new IFBB Pro. They, on quarter Lewis. turns, you name it, they just let that And there we have it, brand new IFBB Pro. Now, when this was happening, I was actually in the gym parking lot and I realized I couldn't go home now because I needed to be on my phone paying attention to what's going on with the overall because she was going to be in the overall comparison. So, apologize for the quality on the recording at this point because I was screen recording off my phone, but I wasn't going to move. So... Next, we went on to the overall. Now, when they started the overall comparison, I freaked out a little bit because my phone did lose signal, and so I was dying. But at the same time, they didn't move the girls at all. So typically, they move girls around in an overall, and they didn't. And Brandy was stuck right in the center being Class E. So I really wasn't sure what was going to happen, and my heart was going a 1,000 miles a minute. So let's check it out. Right. That just looks so cheap. Your 2022 NPC National Bikini Champion is competitor number 285. Brandy 285. Lee. Let's Congratulations. go. And she won the whole damn show. I could not be more proud of her. I've been working with her for several years now at this point, you know, even to the point where her first suit she ever got from me was destroyed in a house fire. She has been through so many struggles. Her wife is currently deployed. You know, she's doing, she went on deployment herself and yet she stuck with it. She executed, she did all of the things that she had to do in order to become the champion that she is. And she missed her pro card by one spot twice over the course of the last few years. She's been competing for four years total. And to come in and just win this entire show, I could not be happier for her. And I can't wait to see what her pro league uh, status will bring her because there's just a huge line of champions that have come through the national show and won this overall like Janet Leung she's one of the top names that you see now as a Miss Olympia and that could be potentially Brandy in the future so the the future is very very bright for her and not only that but she also wins a lifetime sponsorship with me she started her year out at cuties conquering the stage this year she won a sponsorship there with me she's been sponsored by me in the past she's won several titles with me at cuties conquering the stage already so i just can't wait to see where she goes from here and i couldn't be more thankful to have an athlete like her on my team it was a fantastic way to finish out this 2022 season and literally in flawless fashion with three overalls this year for Brandy Lewis-Reed. Congratulations. Couldn't be more happy for you.